What is up guys? And in this video, I'm gonna talk about three even more simpler music video transitions and effects that are really trendy nowadays. And you can do these all within Premiere and you can be a complete noob and beginner. And I'm gonna tell you exactly about that in this video. So if you haven't watched my last video on super easy music video, link is in the description to watch part one of this video where I actually break down how you do the frame by frame and do the flicker effect and all the different type of effects that you should know. But in this video, super simple, super short, to the point is all you do is you search up these effects, you drag and drop into your timeline and there you go. That is so simple and that is one of the coolest things about the newest versions of Adobe Premiere. So I'm gonna go straight into my laptop and talk to you about it. The first one is all you need to do, all these effects are under, you go to effects and you punch in VR. Or under VR, these are the three trendy, super trendy video effects that you can use. The first one is called VR Digital Glitch. All these have VR in it because they, they are intended for 360 videos, but yes, you can also use them for your normal non 360 videos. So I all I have here is uh, two adjustment clips, one, one adjustment layer, I mean, and two clips. And I'm just gonna make, zoom in here, and I'm just gonna make this one frame on each, so essentially two frames. And that is my adjustment layer. And here are the two trips, two clips I am transitioning into. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the digital glitch. And as you can see, bam, that is your first digital glitch video effect built into Adobe Premiere. This is so cool about the newest versions, 2020. And let's see how that looks. And it's a little glitch effect. And if you wanna spruce it up a bit, you can hold Alt maybe cut this, drag this apart. So you have one frame, one frame, then two frames. Or you can have it one behind, drag this in closer like that. Let's see how that looks. It's almost like a glitch effect. And you can go into your effects panel, you click the adjustment layer, you scroll down, and you can pretty much control all these. So whether or not you want some noise added to it, you control the scale of where you want the actual glitch effect to be. You can have the point of interest to, to pretty much figure out where the focal point or the center point is. And you can also control how much of the glitch effect that you will have in your video. And this, which is gonna lead into the second type of effect that is super trendy in music videos. I'm gonna apply the VR glitch effect on top of something called the chromatic aberration effect. And this is gonna be super easy. Drag and drop tip number two. All you do, drag, drop. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna turn off the digital glitch. So it gives you these type of RGB kind of layers. And you can do this the long way by triple splitting or duplicating your clip. But now with Adobe Premiere, all you do is drag and drop and now you can control each channel how much you want the chromatic aberration to be and it gives you that kind of that glitch effect and you can play around with all the different properties now i can see here is me using the glitch and the chromatic aberration effect and gives you a little glitch right so now that you know the chromatic aberration effect i'm going to turn on back on my digital glitch. And then on top of that, the third one is also familiar in After Effects, if you're familiar with that, but now there's also a version in Adobe Premiere. And the third tip is trick is the VR glow. So all you need, drag and drop on that. And as you can see, there's a little bit of glow onto the video and it is almost essentially like a luma curve, but you can also change the tint and color of this. So let's make it yellow. Now you see there's a little bit of yellow tint and you can also control the radius of it as well as the threshold of how much you want that, the glow to be. And, you, and the cool thing about all these effects, because it's under the effects control panel, you can keyframe each of these. Meaning I can scroll here, 
leave my threshold 0.70, go to the end of the clip, go to zero. Check that out, see how that looks. And is a super quick little flash effect. And that is me using VR Glow, right? On top of chromatic aberrations, on top of digital glitch. And those are the three easiest music video effects that you can do now built into Premiere. You can be a complete noob and all you do is just drag and drop these types of video onto this adjustment layer, onto your effect. And if you stuck out this far, I'm going to also show you one last thing. A little trick is that, yes, you can apply this clip onto video clips, but you can also apply this to text layers. So I'm just going to cut that out for a second. And as you can see, instead of having the, the adjustment layer on my video, I have it onto my text layer. And you can nest it so it only applies only on, onto the clip itself, the text layer, instead of the whole clip. So what I'm going to do here is in one second, I'm just going to drag this out so it's two clips. See how that looks. So I'm going to control all this. I'm going to go under and look for nest, meaning the effects is now just under the text effect, and I still have that drone shot underneath. And as you can see, there is that little bit of that effect underneath. And I've also put it onto the clip. But as you can see, how cool is that? By just essentially having those three layers, you can now put that onto your text. So you have a glitch text effect by just dragging and dropping. And let's see how that looks. You can play around with the timing and the transition, but that is pretty nifty now in Adobe Premiere. And guess what? Now you can do them too. Have your VR glitch, your chromatic abrasion, and your VR glow. Those are the three things that you'll see in every trendy hip hop or even music video. And now you can learn the exact things of simply dragging and dropping and playing around with these effects and you'll see and you can even amaze what you can do with just these simple Adobe Premiere drag and drop already made clips so you don't have to learn scratch step by step but if you want to there's also a link in the description of how I made my own very glitch effect and how you can too and if you haven't done so yet link is in the description for my free camera guide as well as checking out my free resources that can help you go from complete beginner to an intermediate videographer video editor all that is in the link below and uh, if you don't know who i am yet my name is peter and you are watching broke visionary collective where we all start with nothing but you can always create something cheers guys